Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve Microsoft Visual C++ error code 0x8007066 on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing is first, out with the old, in with the new, we're going to have to go remove the older versions of the redistributable package on our computer. And in order to do that, it is very simple. Just start by opening up the Start menu, type in Control Panel, Best Match, so go back with Control Panel, so go ahead and just left click on that to open it up. And now you want to go select the Uninstall Program option. If you don't see that, just set your view by the Category View, and then select Uninstall Program. From here, you want to remove anything that says Visual C++ and just select on Install. And we're going to select Yes. We're going to do that for every Visual C++ item in here. And we're going to do that for the second one here as well. And select on Install. And once that's done, go ahead and close it there. You should go and restart your computer as well. Okay, so once your computer restarts, you're going to go and open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but for this tutorial, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And into Google, you want to just search up Microsoft Visual C++ Download. And just search that up. On the best match, it should come back with download Visual C++ redistributable. Make sure it's a Microsoft domain here, and it should be from 2015 at the time of this recording, so we're just going to go ahead and select that one. And just give it a moment here. Select the orange download button, just left click on that. And select the applicable version, so I'm on a 32-bit computer, so I'm going to select the 86 download. Most of you guys are probably going to be selecting the 64-bit one though, which is the first one. Again, that'll depend on your CPU, but anyway, that'll depend on your CPU and motherboard capability, compatibility, but anyway, I'm on a 32-bit computer, so I'm going to select the second one and just select Next. 
will take a moment to begin download, so just be patient. And it's about 13 megabytes, so not very big. And once it's done downloading, we're just going to go ahead and open it up. Select Run. And then we're going to agree to the end user license terms and select Install. And the user account control prompts, we're going to select Yes. Again, should say Microsoft Corporation here. Want we'll to make sure you're getting it directly from them. Setup successful. So anyway, close out of here. I would recommend restarting your computer nonetheless. There's one more time there. And once that's done, that should pretty much be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.